Hello, Tom and Dr. Anders. It's great to talk to you. Thank you. Uh, I have a, a question about 1 Corinthians 11.29. And this is where Paul's talking about people taking the communion in an unworthy manner. And my question is whether 11.29 can be used to support the doctrine of the real presence, whether the word body there is referring to Christ's body in the Eucharist, or if it's referring to the body of believers, since Paul's talking about people not being mindful of others. Yes, thank you. I think it's both. I think it's both. Uh, we, We have specified and drawn distinctions in Catholic theology to to specify what we mean by the Eucharist and the way it works in a way that I think St. Paul probably did not. I think he conflated a lot of ideas because the language was early about the Eucharist. So I think you see both concepts in, in the letter to 1 Corinthians. So in 1 Corinthians chapter 10, for example, Paul says that the, the bread that we break is a participation in the body of Christ— Because there is one loaf, we who are many are one body. And so there would be language there that would suggest that, at least in part, the body of Christ that he's talking about is the communal body of Christ that is the church that comes into being around the sacrificial uh, offering of the Eucharist. But he also says in the same text that to share in the Eucharist is to share in the altar of the Lord and to be a participant in his sacrifice. Now, that, that is language that's profoundly realistic in terms of our actual share in Jesus' own physical body. And so I think that the text is a bit ambiguous on this part. I think there is both a sense of participation in transubstantiated flesh of Christ in the Eucharist and a recognition that our participation in that sacrifice is what affects the corporate body of Christ, which for Paul is not a metaphor. It is a mystical reality. Is, is, is deeper than a mere metaphor. We can talk about, you know, the, the, the corporate body, uh, you know, of, uh, uh, you know, an S&P 500 corporation. Uh-huh. Or we can talk about the corporate body of the College of Cardinals or something. I don't think he means it that way. In, earlier in the letter, Paul says, a Christian who unites himself to a prostitute unites the body of Christ to a prostitute. And that's a, that's a kind of a g- gross blasphemy to do that. So he seems to have a very realistic notion, a mystical notion of what it means to be Christ's body. It's more than just a metaphor. So short answer, I, I think he means both. I think he means the, the, the Eucharistic species itself is the body of Christ, and the community that, we, that shares in this Eucharistic species is also the body of Christ, yet in a different mode.